So there's nothing better than at the end of the day's trail, stringing up and getting and relaxing in your hammock. But if you don't have a bug net, it's not gonna be very relaxing. It's actually gonna be very irritating. So stick around, we're gonna show you a couple of really cool budget-friendly hammock bug nets from Ayamea. One pound. So 1.02 one pound. That so comes with a ridge line organizer pouch. It's pretty cool. Comes with two metal JPEG stakes. Comes with uh, two guy lines. <coughs> and this is going to be the uh, ridge line that the bug net will hang from. <coughs> so since we already have a uh, ridge line on this particular hammock, we're just going to go ahead and use that one. So we're just going to feed the hammock through the very far end piece. And then we'll feed it through the other end here. Okay. I go right, go ahead and reattach our hammock. Uh, so now we just got to feed the uh, organizer through this hole. That way, it'd be on the inside of the bug net. Just lift up the hammock, feed it through the hole. So now there's a drawstring here at both ends of the bug net. I'm just going to tighten that up around. Keeps the insects and bugs from coming in from the end. So we're going to do that on both sides. All right, so let's take a look at the ends of this uh, bug net <clears throat> where it goes around, where it closes in around the end. So look how uh, we're past the end of the hammock all the way to the carabiner. <clears throat> Same over here. So this particular hammock is a Kamek brand hammock and it is a 10 foot hammock <clears throat> so you see how much extra room we have on the ends these bug nets will work up will work on up to 11 foot hammocks also double hammocks so if you like that double hammock to get your uh, a good diagonal lay in your hammock you'll be able to do it with this bug net all right so we have a two-way zipper for our bug net it goes all the way to the attached stuff, stuff sack. And then it goes up. And here's the, what I like about it is it goes over. It's going to give you a little extra room, shoulder room, when you get in your hammock. So you do have a grab tab on the outside and inside. And you got a little pocket organizer up here. Pretty cool. Okay, so at the head end of the bug net, there is a 
tab right here this is a guy outline tab and there's one on each side this just kind of pulls the net away from your head and your shoulders area so you just use the guy line and what I like to do is so this is the end where the tensioner buckle is at so that goes down there where the stake is so what I like to do is take this end just loop it right here and go in through this loop so just do that and then we just pull the line through here that's a pretty easy way of attaching your guy line to your your bug net there so notice the reinforced material right here that's pretty thick material just sewn in so just extra durability there when when you guy this out so now we can stake this out I got the other side put in so we can kind of adjust this if we want it to go out far or <clears throat> I like to go out far enough just to where it helps me and then I still have room for adjustment. But if I go out too far, I'm liable to trip over as I'm walking around the campsite. I try not to go out too far from the bug net. So what we do is we just take the bottom of the tensioner buckle where the knot is. And we just take this loop right here. And we're just going to put the JPEG ground stake just like that. And now we're just going to stake it in. Okay, so we've got a ground stake in. What I do, I just kind of come about 45 degree angle back from the setup there. And that'll kind of keep it pulled back outwards and then back this way. So we need to get tension on this uh, line, which probably need to get a little bit more tension. Just a little bit more, not much. So we just grab the buckle and just simply slide it forward. It don't have to be, it doesn't have to be real tight, just uh, just enough to give it form. And that's all we need. That just gives us more room around our head area here. All right, so our second bug net, we've got it on the hammock already. Um, the other hammock, I had a ridge line attached to it already, and that's kind of what we're using to lock the bug net up. So I don't have a ridge line for this one, so we're going to have to use the cordage that's included with the bug net. Okay, so for the second one, I'm using the uh, included ridge line. <clears throat> and what I did to make this a lot easier is I got a couple of carabiners that I, I like to keep in my backpack just for extra, just in case. So I just did a, a loop knot here. Went around the tree, same place where my suspension strap is. And just buckled off to carabiner here. So it goes across. And I've got the other end attached to a carabiner. And I just looped around the tree and then clipped it back on itself. So that gives the bug net locked. That works really well. Like I said, it doesn't have to be real tight, just just to give you off what you need. So this bug net has the zipper straight up and down. So the other one, remember, it kind of contours off to the side. So just two different styles here, but they both do the same job. And other than the two zippers being different, it's pretty much the same exact bug net. Okay, so they give you two of these red line, ridge line cordage for each hammock bug net. So what you have, why you have two of them is the first one is going to be on the outside of the bug net, so you can clip your bug net to it. So it gives your bug net loft. The second one is going to attach. And it's going to run through the bug net and it's going to have your storage pouch on it but that's what the extra one is for to run it on the inside so you can have your storage pouch so this one has a uh, hook in here so you can uh, attach your uh, flashlight your headlamp or whatever 
just to give you light. So just like the other bug net, it comes with uh, two guy lines and two metal JPEG stakes. Bait zipper, or double zipper, just makes it easy to uh, get in and out. And it has a pull tab on both sides, just like the other one does.